So it is legal to have a shot collar for a dog? You were allowed to have shot collars? I think so. They're a, they're a thing. But I'd never seen heard of one before in my life because it's one of those things where you would go, well, you give it a try. How do you know what it, what it feels and like? And can you get one for kids? The next one is our top five favourite bits of Emma and Daniel banter. Very arrogant by us. Just our favourite well, stuff that we well, do. Well, it's nice. To, it's like, well, this is what this is for, right? I feel like you do 40 episodes, 40 anything, you get the right to have, right? Yeah. Anyway, but it's, it's what I like about this topic is because at the very beginning, the show we wanted to make was, it's just you and me talking shit. And then unfortunately, we had to put in story and characters and stuff. But if it was up to us... <laughs> It'd just be you and just me. Just be this, basically. Yeah. So, but every now and then we could get in a little scene yeah. that was just talking rubbish. Uh, so, my first one is season two, episode two. See how much it hurts. If you think it's fine, then I won't say another thing. You don't have to put it on, just hold it on your throat and buck. Until it get electrocuted in the throat. Yeah, why are you finding this such a difficult concept to grasp? Just put on the collar. No, it's been tested on dogs, not humans. Well, you look like a cocker spaniel. Cocker Daniel. So it is legal to have a shock collar for a dog? You were allowed to have shock collars for a dog? I think so. They're a, they're a thing. But I'd never seen heard of one before in my life because it's one of those things where you would go, well, you give it a try. How do you know what it, what it feels and like? And can you get one for kids? All right, look, if you don't have this on your list, I'd be surprised. Nom, nom, nom. Uh, nom, nom, nom. Oh, that's nom, good tea. Nom, huh? nom. This next one is, it was your birthday Tom. episode and it was me talking about a very real fear that I that um, I think is a, an important health and safety announcement as well. My face isn't going to be able to hold my nose up. It's going to slide off my face. You look at yours. Yours isn't going to go anywhere. Thank you. It's a little pixie nose. <laughs> Look at your little pixie nose. Pixie nose. Like, this genuinely upsets me, and I hate that it's real. Like that's what I found, and I was like, that is so upsetting. This, this, this I think, is one of our first sort of bantery banter bits that we did. It's season one, episode four, arguing about how to get back over the creek. How do I get back? I don't know. Well, can you bring the car around? I don't know how to get over there. We'll just Google Map it. You don't have an address. Am I supposed to type no. in Grass Pat? No, just open the app. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, I do like that one. That one, the ones like that that you just that we cut and hope the audience cut, yeah, know yeah. that they're still going it's for been, ages and ages. For a long time. This one is just silly that I really liked as well. This is uh, season two, episode three. I don't want to party. Everyone likes to party. Yeah, I'm not saying I don't like to party. I'm saying I don't want to have a party. Come on. No. So this is season two, episode six, I think, and I'm pretty sure it's you and I arguing over um, taking a bullet for each other. That doesn't count. You'd help a stranger dangling off a cliff. I'm talking about jumping in front of me in a shootout. Well, where's the bullet going to hit you? What? If the bullet's going to hit you in the shin, and in order to dive in front of it, I get hit in the head, I'm letting your shin get shot. Do you know what I like about that? And what's reminded me about all of these is pretty much, I would say, all of these are word for word the conversation we had and we wrote it down. Because yeah. I don't remember that scene, but whenever you said something, my instinct to reply to you is what I said. For my last one, um, it is... I think it's the start of this a season, um, and it's you. I won't. I won't spoil it. I, I saw my friend sleeping. I thought it's good to be living together again. I smiled. It was a, it was a nice moment. So weird. I could have been naked. Why would you be naked if your door's ajar? You probably opened it. I didn't open it. I was I was walking past. Do you walk standing still? No. I... Forget it. Can you put the kettle on, you filthy pervert? Yes. He admits it. <laughs> I think that was season two, first episode. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Do you walk standing still? <laughs> it's it's my sorry, just kind of a nice moment. Because we wanted to, we wanted to set up like, look at this beautiful yeah. French. You know, in the movies, when they always have that, it's always in a doorway, having a cup of tea, looking out and going, "I'm yeah. so glad they're home." So blah, blah, blah. I'm like, "Why are you watching me sleep, you weirdo?" <laughs> but that was a good one. I remember. I like that one very much. Well, we wrote it, mate. So pat yourself on the back. Oh.